is Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look inside of Photoshop on how to extract colors from images directly into a color palette that Photoshop can understand rather than individually sampling um, and extracting colors and manually putting them into a palette. There is a process you can do that can do all that for you in just a couple of clicks. So I'm gonna open up an image here. I'm gonna open up my helmet.png um, and as you can see, this is like a little 16 bit helmet with a range of colors. Now, if I wanted to, I could go with my eye drop at all, select the purple, go over here with this, hit add to swatches, give it a name, purple, you know, hit okay, and then it would appear in the swatches color palette. Um, now that is a bit of a long process to do, depending on how many colors there are here. And imagine this wasn't a piece of pixel art, imagine this was a photograph or something even more insanely complicated. Although I'm not sure you'd want to try this with a photograph, maybe an illustration or a piece of graphic design where you love the color palette and want to extract that. Um, the first thing you need to do is actually index your layer. Uh, you do that by going up to image, mode, and then index color. And what this does is it basically, it's kind of like a rasterization process. It, it, analyzes it and analyzes all the colors that are used in there. Make sure that your palette is set to exact, um, not to any kind of system specific um, indexing and just hit OK. Leave the rest of the colors on. You'll see that it will find and tell you how many colors there are individually used. Leave force black and white transparency on. You can change the mode if you want to, but we want to leave it on matte. Okay, what that does is it indexes and locks our layer so that we can't edit it in any way. Uh, the next step, really easy to do, go back to image again, hit mode, and then choose color table. And what this will do is it will take all those indexed colors and put them into a table for you. So you can see you've got your standard black and white, um, which is the first, when we said leave it on black and white, it generates a black and white for you. And then it's got every single instance of the color used within that um, piece of imagery. Hit save. And I'm just going to drop on my desktop for now. It's going to save it as a color table.act. You might be more familiar with ACO or ASE. It doesn't matter. Photoshop can understand them all. I'm just going to call this one helmet and hit save. Then go over to your swatches panel, which if you don't see, you can just hit window and swatches. Hit the little burger icon on the right and choose replace swatches. Uh, save changes. No, you don't need to. Go back to your desktop and find your original file. So go to color table.act. Choose helmet and hit load. And it's automatically generated and loaded that color palette for you. Meaning now I can start a new piece of work and keep working within the same color palette. It really is as simple as that. So thanks very much for watching. I know this was a quick one this week, but hopefully it's a nice quick tip for you guys that you'll find useful. Um, other pieces of software do accept ACT as well. So you might be able to move this between softwares like Illustrator and things like that. So hopefully this is quite useful for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to su subscribe and things like that. And I'll see you all next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.